In this lesson, we're going to be learning about direct variation. So by the time we're done with this lesson, you should be able to write and interpret direct variation equations. So time for your warm-up. We are to solve each equation for y. Play, pay very close attention. Remember, you're solving for y. So pause the video and work the problems and come back and check your answers. All right, let's time to check our answers. Did you get that y is equal to 1 fourth x? It is so tempting to take 12 and divide it by 3, but we're solving for y. So we divide 3 by 12. We divide 5 by negative 10, and we multiply 15x by 4 thirds. Okay, so now for the key concepts in this lesson. Direct variation is a linear function defined by an equation in the form y equals kx, where k is not equal to 0. The constant of variation is k, where k is equal to y over x, y divided by x. So let's look at that. For each function, determine whether y varies directly with x. And if so, find the constant of variation and write the equation. So let's look at a together. So we're going to write it as y over x. 3 over negative 3 gives us, a ne or negative 1 gives us negative 3. Negative 6 over 2 gives us negative 3. However, 15 over 5 gives us a positive 3. So it does not vary directly. 14 over 7 gives us 2. 18 divided by 9 gives us 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 gives us 2. So k is equal to 2. So the equation that we can write, y is equal to kx, is y is equal to 2x. Very good. For each function, tell whether y varies directly with x, and if so, find the constant of variation. Well, the first thing we need to do is solve for y. So we're going to isolate the y. We divide every term by 3. This one cannot be written in the form y equals to kx, okay? So it does not vary directly with x. So let's go over to b. We're going to isolate the y, so we're going to divide both sides by the negative 2. This one is written in the format y is equal to kx. So y does vary directly with x, and k is equal to negative 5 halves. Excellent. Example 3. Suppose that y does vary directly with x, and y is equal to 15 when x is equal to 27. We're to write the function that models the variation, and we're to find y when x is equal to 18. Okay, first of all, we know we've got to find k. Well, we can find k because we know that the, for direct variation, y is equal to kx. And here we're told that it varies directly and y is 15 and x is 27. So we're going to substitute in 15 and 27 and solve for k. So 15 over 27 is 5 ninths. So now we're going to write the function that models this variation. y is equal to 5 ninths x. So we've written the function. Now we need to find y when x is equal to 18. So we're going to simply substitute in 18 for x and we find out that y is equal to 10. Very good. You're ready to begin working on the assignment.